Don't go potty? What's she gonna do? I had heard about it and I thought that'd be just something fun to do. Pets can be the most loyal of friends, but for these two women, they are also loyal customers. We'll stop every once in a while and she'll sniff the air and she sniffs the ground and let's go. Susan Gibbons and Sherry McAdams are bonded and insured pet sitters and dog walkers in the Traverse City area. Susan is the owner of Sarah's Legacy Pet Sitters and Sherry owns Tails a Wagon. This is my fourth year and I'm loving it. Seven and a half years. But don't be quick to think that they are in competition. They are both part of Pet Sitters Network North. This is a group of pet sitters that help each other find clients. Both of them serve 100 or more clients in the area. I had roughly six to eight new clients a year. Every day, seven days a week, yep. Come rain, snow, or shine, the weather doesn't keep them from caring for their furry clients. Even that day last March when it was crazy, I was out there that day, you know, dealing with people who didn't have electricity. All I had was garage door key codes to get in. And I actually love at night if it's a full moon and it's snowing and it's so quiet and then we're just out for a walk and it's so quiet and it's just beautiful. It really is. Caring for pets professionally does have its benefits. They become my family and I feel as responsible for them as I do for my own family. So let's shy. He's not shy. They just give you unconditional love. I mean they're just wonderful. <laughs> but it sure does keep them busy. I think last year I had four days off where I didn't have to leave the house at all. Susan said in her first six months of business, she only made $700. In her second year, she made about $12,000. Since then, she said it has nearly doubled each year. I was hoping to, that it would um, pay as much so that I could um, continue to bring in what I was making. And I was very surprised when it, it started uh, paying more monthly. So. Susan said of the dog walkers and pet sitters she knows in the area, the average income is $50,000 per year. Sherry said the most she has ever made is $48,000 a year, and that was by choice. She chose to scale back on the number of clients she had and referred them to other pet sitters. <laughs> I'm very comfortable where I'm at. I've actually the highest income I've ever been at. The holidays just get really crazy. I mean, we are on the go from 6 a.m. till 11 o'clock at night, and sometimes we're doing overnights too, so, so it seems like it's around the clock. And I said, I want to do this, and I just, uh, just started doing it, and it was, it's just been great. I mean, you can be having a horrible day, and they're just happy to see you, and they just love you, and it's just very rewarding, very rewarding. and let them out depends on their needs but it just it just creates a so they're very much like a child or a family member you would say <laughs>